Hey guys, it's MJ and welcome back to my channel at Broomstick88. Today we are doing a little bit of review and I'm super excited. Like I went through a ton to get a hold of this stuff that I'm reviewing. You have no idea. So as some of you may know, recently DreamWorks released the movie Trolls. It's so colorful. I just love it. Well, they also released a bunch of makeup. Now, they did release with MAC, which I am not reviewing today. I am reviewing their Hard Candy release. I'm really excited for this. Um, Hard Candy, if you don't know, is a brand that's available at Walmart exclusively. They are a little bit more of an accessible price point, nothing over $10 brand. I really like that. MAC is awesome and amazing and beautiful, and some of the pigments that they have for this collection are insane. But not everybody can afford MAC. And I mean, MAC for me is not accessible. There's not any place in the area I can just go pick up some MAC makeup. It just doesn't happen like that. The nearest mall is like 45 minutes away that has it. So for me, this was awesome. I'm super pumped. Um, apparently it was pretty hard to get a hold of because a lot of people didn't, the stores that were listed for having it, it didn't end up having it or people couldn't find it. I found it in the Christmas decoration section on an end cap. So I've picked up pretty much all the lip products and I picked up the rainbow highlighter. So pumped, over the top pumped, like crazy pumped. Um, I'm gonna review those and uh, hang on out with me. So I've not yet used any of this stuff. I've actually made a point to just unwrap it, make sure I don't have any stickers that I have to fight with, but I have not touched anything, not sampled anything. It's all live, first happening right here. We're going to start with the thing I am most excited about, which is rainbow highlighter. Look at this, look at this adorable little star rainbow over the top packaging with the cute little troll right there, super pumped and it looks like this. Now I'm gonna be honest and say that the packaging on all of this feels really cheap. Um, it's like cardboardy and it's kind of like falling apart in certain areas so I'm not crazy about that but you know I paid eight bucks for this. Not gonna lose my mind. So the first thing we're gonna do is a finger swatch. I'm gonna take two fingers like a Girl Scout and I am just gonna, how do I want to do this? I'm gonna go with the stripes. really super powdery, a little iridescent. Um, maybe I need more than two fingers. Okay, let's try again. Let's, let's do more. We're gonna, we're gonna hand swipe this. Boink. Shimmer, shimmer. It's sparkly, not crazy sparkly, but it is sparkly. Uh, next we're gonna use a foam circle. Oh, it's really pretty on the foam. And, um, oh yeah. Okay, so that is the way that it's meant to be done apparently, cause I'm gonna wear this every day. I really like that. Awesome, so foam circle, yay, two thumbs up. Finger swatch. Eh, eh. Good to test the colors, not for application. And let's snag a brush. <clears throat> I'm gonna ruin this one. I like this one. We'll kill this one. I'm gonna take my toothbrush style artisty kind of thing, swipe along with the color on the brush. A lot more subtle. Um, but you definitely, I can't know if it translates on camera, you can see the rainbow colors. So uh, that, I'm a fan. This is a thing that's going to be a new staple in my collection. Love it. So I'm gonna test one more way if I take the brush and swirl it. If it just turns into like a regular highlighter like a lot of them do. I'm just trying to find a brush. There we go. Uh, no, that's my contouring brush. There we go, use this one. Floofy brush, I'm gonna mix it up. They stay together really nicely and it seems like there's a lot of product in here. I'll get you that in a moment. Does absolutely nothing <laughs> if you're not attempting the rainbow effect. So uh, fail with the brush, brush fail. And as far as product goes on this, 
it is not listed how much product is in here. I think I have a little sticker here. Let's see if that has anything. It is all cruelty free, by the way. There's no animal testing with hard candy. If you are a conscientious buyer with that kind of stuff, that's something to kind of stick by and be cool about. Um, still no wait list. So it looks big. And that is going to be the weight that we choose here is it uh, looks big. So um, yay, rainbow highlighter down. Totally love it, cool with this, let's do it. Move on to the next thing. The next piece of this collection that we're gonna be reviewing is the Popping Pigments. Uh, they had two different tubes of these. I grabbed the one that looked like I would get the most use out of it. It has the gold, the hollow, and the white hollow in it. And I've got a little bit of glitter primer on the back of my hand. I'm gonna first be using Silver Dollar, which is this super pretty white, bluish iridescent hollow. And it comes in a little shaker top. The glitter's not super fine. It kind of takes a little bit of work to get it out of there. So I'm gonna pause, fight with this for a moment, and then I'll come back with some swatches for you. So both the black hollow and the white hollow are named lock and key. The black hollow is way finer than the white hollow, which is significantly chunkier and harder to work with. The gold hollow, it's not even really a hollow, this one is called Lock and Key. I'm so sorry, I think I said these were Lock and Key. These are actually Silver Dollar. Um, that one is in between as far as fineness goes. Really pretty and light catching. Um, the black one was easy to work with. The white and the gold less so. So those are the pigments. Um, I'm less impressed with them. I think they're cool. I just not entirely sure what I would do with them. Uh, they're like middle school dance opposed to like high fashion glitter cut crease. But uh, there's that, let's move on to the next cool thing. I wiped off some of my lipstick so that I could have a little bit of a better canvas for this part. Next we are testing their color mood changing lip glosses. They're really huge, like these are massive, massive lip glosses. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see how much they have in them. It is once again not listed on them. They are, they don't have names listed on them, but on the display they had names. One was named something like Chenille. I'm sure I could find them online and I may even list them in the bottom if I remember to do that. But uh, the first one we're gonna test is like an iridescent lavender color. And it's got this really heavy duty doe foot applicator, like bam. That was quick. So it went on, like, I don't know, it was so fast. It tastes really fruity, like not the good kind of fruity. Um, it went on like a really shimmery lavender color and turned baby pink like instantly. I really like it. It's just got the prettiest like icy shimmer look, just. Big fan, big fan. Okay, let's wipe this off and we'll try the blue one. Okay, so we wipe that off and we're gonna try the blue one now. It is really blue looking in the tube. Um, once again, massive lip gloss, huge doe foot applicator. That's very blue. That is uh, normally the color of my hair blue. They're not so much lip glosses as they are lip paints. Like, that is opaque. So it's supposed to be color changing. Let's, this like tealy blue shade is actually really pretty, like all on its own. Blue lipsticks always make your teeth look much whiter than they are, and I am a fan. Um, so this one's supposed to turn purple and the other one turned pink really fast. 
This one is not so much turning purple really fast. Oh, okay. The corners of the mouth are starting to go. I'm going to give it another second. I'll be right back. So it's not turning purple. The blue is fading out a little bit and the gold tones are replacing it, but it is more of a gray color than a purple color. So uh, I still think it's really neat. It is not turning purple though. I would still totally rock this color. Let's wipe it off and go on to a couple more lip products. So I don't know if you can tell, but the blue lip gloss stained the inside of my lips. Like a really blue purpley color. So uh, that's a thing. The next thing we are trying is the custom blue purple shade every time lipstick. Uh, that's fun. It's a fun color. It's like blue and red all marbled together and it's supposed to be a create a custom purple every time you use it. So let's give it a try. Okay. That is a messy applicator. Hold on. Pro, the color it made for me is badass. Uh, it is a dark, plummy, really like, I like this. I'm totally rocking this. This is a cool color. Con is, um, once again, packaging, kind of cardboardy. That's not a huge deal to me. Um, honestly, I think the packaging is so neat colored with this marble that I really don't mind that it's cardboard. Uh, the other con would be because it has a mix of blue and red when you're putting it on, it is occasionally creating like these spots where you get one color but not the other color. Um, other than that, I'm gonna wear test this one of these days because I really, really like this color. I just think that's a fun color for me. Let's uh, wipe it off, go to the final lip stick, but not the final lip product. So a big theme with this line, it seems to be, is that they are color changing and mood changing and custom colors. This one right here is their mood color changing balm. It has a little hollow stripe on it, which is a huge deal to me because I am a hollow, hollow holic, hollow holic. I'm gonna be a hollow holic. That's my thing. I love hollow. And it comes in a minty that kind of reminds me of the uh, Lipstick Queen Magic Frog Prince lipstick. Everything in this collection is also super staining. Um, like everything it touches turns like purpley and bluey. So I'm gonna put some on my hand too. Goes on clear and it is slowly morphing into a really pretty pink color. Um, it feels really nice on your lips. Like it's very hydrating feeling. It's got a little bit of a fruity smell, but not a fruity taste, which I like. I would rather have it smell fruity than taste fruity. And it is turning into a pink that I like. So, uh, Hard Candy Trolls, big fan. Big fan of a lot of this stuff. We're gonna be doing more with this, more work, wear tests and things like that. They made eyeshadow and cream glitter palettes too. I chose not to get those. Um, I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, but I know that I am picky and grumpy about eyeshadow palettes. So I'm probably gonna say no on those because they just didn't have colors or samples that appealed to me. The hair chalk they had really appeared to me, but I'm just bad at it. Like not good at hair chalk. So I didn't pick that up because it'd be a waste of money. And they only had like three and I wanted someone who would really enjoy it to get it, opposed to me buying it knowing that I wasn't going to be good at it. So let's move on to the next thing. So I'm going to show you the second reason after the rainbow highlighter, why I chose to get the Trolls collection, like why I wanted to review this. I love Heart Candy's metallic mousse mattes and they came out with four of them for this collection. Now one of them is a really pretty pinky shade but I chose not to purchase the pink because I have a lot of pink metallic lipsticks. So what I did buy was the silver, gold, and green. We have Shine Bright Like a Diamond. This one is Poppy Celebration. 
and this one is just branch out they come in these really nice tin packaging they are solid like the, they are made so solidly and they have this cute little like window thing here they're sat in a really hard to get out actually um velour liner which i'm going to struggle with oh there we go they're just they're cute they're cute little packages i actually put the lip glosses lipsticks elsewhere and use the packaging to carry like eyeliners and stuff like that when i'm on the go but this one right here is the silver it comes on a long felt tip applicator and I'm just gonna put a little on my hand before I test them on my mouth. That is the silver. I'm gonna grab the other two and I'll be right back. So I've got all of them on my hand right now. Um, I really think they're really pretty. That by the way is the color changing balm that is now being even more pink. The silver one right here is very metallic, very smooth, not streaky at all. The one that I thought was green is actually more of a navy and it's got like a blue purple green shift to it which is really cool. And the gold is a true almost that little bit of a green gold so that I just love in everything. So uh, we're gonna make a little lippy pattern with them to see how they feel on the lips and we're gonna start with the gold. And just like everything else that Hard Candy has made for the metallic mousses, they feel amazing. This. This is the reason of makeup. Ooh. Golden and amazing. I'm in love. Next one that we're gonna do, silver. I'm really excited for this. I like these long applicators. A little less smooth on the lips. No, not smooth, like the texture's still smooth. Um, and you can just see the color that's underneath them a little bit stronger. I don't know if maybe because it's like a purpley blue underneath them that it would be showing through on the silver a little bit more. These dry really fast and they dry really flexible. Like they're already like pretty much dry. I like this one a lot. Not as crazy about it as I was with the gold, which is funny because I thought I thought I was going to be crazy about this. My lips are still really purple. Now we are going to go in with this guy right here. This is the purpley blue one. You, I don't know the product size on this, but you do get a ton of product for like every item of theirs. Like it's a really good deal. I think these are like six bucks or something. I'm in love. So I'm gonna be honest with you. This color is kind of a cross between like Max Blue Brown Pigment and Kylie Jenner's lip kit in the color Trick that was just released. I'm really like, yeah, yeah, totally. Like I was just checking the ones on my hand and they feel like dry and I can poke at them and they feel really good. Like I just, this is such a me color. I'm in love with this. Two thumbs up on all of the metallic mousses. Like I said, I did not buy the pink one. There is a pink one out there. Just really, really like this. Overall, I really liked all of these products. I purchased everything with my own money, so I'm not being sponsored to say this, but I would totally encourage you to go out and find these. Once again, I found them in the Christmas section on an end cap in Walmart. There is a list on Hard Candy's website as to where you can find these, and I just think they're really fantastic. Have a great day.